This video will take us through the piece beginning with staging. Sculpture. Before the concert begins, we'll arrange our flower pots in a group close to one another with the opening facing up. We'll keep our mallets and then we will move away from the flower pots until the piece begins. And what we're creating is somewhat of a tableau or a sculpture. I will probably do this about 15 minutes before performance. Then at 7.30, we will work our way back towards our flower pots, pick up our flower pots, and then space back out. And the inverse is true at the end of the piece. We will then return our flower pots back to roughly the same place in a closed group, this time with the opening facing downward. The idea is for the flower pots to create, again, a sculpture, and we may choose to stack them a bit or, or whatever, uh, whatever we're comfortable with. And that's how the piece will begin and end. Now we're ready for the piece. Movement one is expanding blooms. The bloom is at the heart of Elliot Cole's collection of flower pot music pieces. Each person plays a single note spreading throughout the group like the wave in a stadium for a sporting event. So here's how it starts. I'll begin by tolling two times. On my third note, that is when everyone will play. So you can think of this as ready, set, go. I won't say that, uh, but that's maybe something that you could have in your head. On that third time, everyone plays, everyone follows, and when someone near you plays, play. Uh, respond as quickly as you can to the sounds around you, but do so in a relaxed way and allow that sound to ripple throughout the whole group in one continuous flow. Consider maybe playing slightly quieter than the person before you or next to you so the whole aural shape tapers softly and no one's note stands out. If you choose to play near the end of this bloom, try taking a little more time so that it slows down and diminishes as it loses steam. So again, I will play two notes and on the third note, everyone sort of plays um, where they feel comfortable. And so I'll sort of sing it here in a very rough way. So this is the first time. And as you play, listen deeply to the whole blim. Make a mental image and try to commit where you played to memory. Having said that, the next thing you're gonna do is an impossible task. As a group, we'll recreate the, bl the bloom as closely as possible. Try to play your note in the same place that it was at the same volume, at the, but this is by design imperfect. Don't expect it to be the same. We don't want it to be the same, exactly the same, but that's sort of what we're after from a listening standpoint. And then we will repeat this four more times without the ready set at the beginning. So, uh, and each time you just make little adjustments in order to try to become more relaxed and try to get that sound energy to flow more smoothly through the group. So the whole bloom will be essentially like this part, my rough singing again. And I believe that was five times total. So once we are done with that, we will at that point move to a different space and we will find that place, observe some silence, and then we will repeat this entire sequence beginning with so ready, set, play. And we will do that four more times, so five total. And it'll sound different to you. We will be further apart. And for the audience, the people in the garden, they will experience a, a different aural effect as well. And we will repeat this um, it, depending on the mood and the feeling of, of the moment. We will repeat that whole process a few times, this expanding bloom. Once we're done, I will then do a swell with sticks. 
So you can either turn your mallet around and gently play it like that, or uh, in one of the previous videos I demonstrated, but I'm not sure the angle was so good. You, can, you want to use the shaft of the mallet to make a stick sound. We will do the swell with sticks on my cube. So we've played, we'll say this is our last um, unfolding bloom. When you hear me do this, and those around you begin to do the same, we will swell that and then take it to nothing. And this works best when it's done gradually, like a wave across the ensemble, listening to one another rather than responding precisely uh, to cues to the start and end. Once everyone completes the swell with the sticks, we're ready for movement two. So again, we go through the unfolding bloom. I play, everyone else does the same. until everyone tapers off, and we are then ready for movement two. Movement two is traveling swells. This movement begins as I walk to the opposite side of the playing area, playing a series of swells. so on and so forth. Once I reach the other side of the playing area and I come to a stop, then everyone else will begin. So choose a destination and move to that destination while playing your swells. And this place can be anywhere. It can be in the center of our ensemble. It could be at the edges, on the gazebo, in a seat, whatever you choose. Spend as much time listening and uh, being silent as you do playing. And this creates, a, again, a bit of a wave effect and a nice aural atmosphere for everyone to listen to. Listen to the motion of the sounds around you. And when you arrive at a destination, be silent and wait. You may choose to close your eyes and see if you can visualize the paths of the people you hear traveling around you. And if it seems as though we're all sort of clumping up in one spot, that's maybe okay, or you may choose to, to move again. Uh, once it seems as though everyone has moved to a variety of destinations, we will wait and then this process will unfold again. So we will go about this moving about, playing these swells, and after it seems as though the, the moment is right, we will do the same process with the swell with sticks. So I will make the cue that ends this section And everyone, just like we did at the end of movement one, will follow that process by playing your swell with sticks. And that concludes movement two. Movement three is titled pairs. For this section, let pairs form one at a time with some time between each new pair. How this works is you find someone, make eye contact, and then try to play a single note in unison. If you don't succeed at a perfect unison where you both play at the exact same time, try again until you do. And again, repeat as necessary. Once you're able to hit that perfect unison, find someone else and repeat this process. Try it with people near you, try it with people far away on the opposite side of the group, move to a new place if you'd like, and you continue this until, you guessed it, a swell with sticks. I will play the swell with sticks. And that becomes, again, the cue for everyone else to play the swell with sticks until we taper into nothing. And that marks the end of this section. So this may take a, a long while. Again, it may not. It depends on the mood and, uh, and the moment that we're in. So if you don't find yourself paired up right away with someone, that's okay. You can wait 
and for you can wait until someone seems to be scanning for another performer and what I recommend is make eye contact maybe a small stick gesture and then attempt to play together and again the imperfection is what makes the movement pairs exciting and interesting and it should be fun the idea isn't that we try to get a perfect unison right away, but we enjoy the process of trying to play notes together. Movement four is titled Frisbee. As the name suggests, we will play a simulated version of Frisbee with the people around us. When it's clear who is in your group, and it can be a, a, a small group, a large group, whatever you feel comfortable with at the moment, make a circle. Once you have a clear circle going, you get into a steady rhythm. And how this works is you hit the note and you simulate passing your flower pot across the circle to someone else. That person will receive the flower pot, make eye contact with someone else in the group, Play a note, pass the flower pot figuratively. That person will pretend to receive the flower pot, look for someone else, play a note and pass it. And you want to try to get this circle moving and get it into a steady rhythm as though you were playing Frisbee. Again, uh, for the, the sake of everyone involved, this is simulated that you just act as though you're passing the flower pot rather than actually passing the, uh, throwing a flower pot. And we'll try to collectively speed up or slow down the rhythm together, however everyone is feeling within that circle. There's no need to get extremely fast or to go at any particular speed for that matter. It's completely up to uh, the vibe of what's happening in your circle. And I do recommend that you have just one Frisbee per circle. And again, as you might have guessed, this will end with the stick swells. everyone will do the same and at this point if you're standing sit down or relax for a moment uh, you can probably relax with your flower pot and hold it with both hands and we're going to listen and wait for a while and at this point we're listening to the surrounding what else is happening in the park what else is happening in the space and we just we'll wait for a while and I should mention, we will likely do that to a certain extent in between all of the movements, but we will put a particularly longer pause between movement four and movement five. Movement five, free blooms. Free blooms begin with tolls similar to the beginning of the piece. I will play two tolls. And on my third note, we will unfold a new bloom, exactly like we did at the beginning. And we will do this five times total, smoothing it out as we go. Then we'll have some silence. And this time, instead of moving or uh, having me as the leader toll, at this point, anyone can become the leader and do the same. So at this point, we wait. And as someone feels the, the moment, Someone else may choose to toll twice. On that third note, then we unfold five blooms. We'll continue this process as is comfortable. And if two people happen to start at once or three people start at once, that's okay. The people around uh, closest to that person can follow those particular blooms. What's important is to sort of wait and listen and notice how these patterns radiate and maybe cross, maybe even interfere with one another. And again, if more than, more than one person plays at a time, that's okay. Uh, and we can repeat this game as long as we want and enjoy the process. Just listen deeply and enjoy the sound. Um, and after this takes place for a while, again, depending on the moment and how we're feeling, I will start a stick swell Everyone will do the stick swell as well, and that marks the end of the section, and then we will fall into another silence as we prepare for movement six.
So we've reached the sixth and final movement, waves. Waves begins with a series of long swells with pauses in between. And I will likely play the first one longer than that. And you will play swells as well. So after you hear me begin, begin playing swells. Focus on a person or two near you. As they get louder, you can get louder. And as the person next to you or the people around you get softer, perhaps get softer as well. An error on the side of playing softer, this movement is likely to sound uh, preferable if everyone errors on the side of being soft. And as you're playing, always be cognizant of the peaks and the valleys that are forming and reforming around you. So this movement also brings us back to the place where we began. So during waves, if I happen to be seated, I'll stand and I'll walk towards the place where we began, likely at or near the gazebo. And I will continue to play my swells as I travel. Once I arrive at that place, I will take my flower pot, set it on the ground, and I will, keeping my mallet in my hand, I will exit the performance area. One by one, each of you will do the same. All the performers will continue to play swells. Again, being aware of those around you that are also playing swells and make your way to the place where we began. Take your flower pot, set it down, keeping your mallet, walk away from the performance area. Once we've all done that, the piece is over. Everyone will be off stage. Our flower pots will remain in a cluster or a pile or uh, our, uh, our tableau or our sculpture, essentially. At that point, we're done. And the audience won't know that we're done. And so at that point, it'll be helpful if we clap. And what we're doing is we're clapping for ourselves for giving this performance together, making music together, making a soundscape together. We'll clap, everyone will clap, and we're done. And that will be the performance of Flower Pop Music for International Make Music Day 2021.